O'Connell is with us. It's always nice to start our show with a, a wonderful friend. Back from Catholic Health, he is here with Alexandra Foley. And Alex and Kevin are here to talk about some very important things, this being Stroke Awareness Month. So welcome back and good morning. Linda, great to having. see you. You know, the last time we had a chance to share the couch and, and talk about stroke, we were also talking about uh, a very well-known young man, actor Luke Perry. Yes. Who had a stroke and then subsequently passed uh, the following week. Yet here we are again with a young man last week, 51 years old, very popular director of, of, of a real pioneer, mm -hmm. John Singleton, and uh, he again had a stroke and passed that day. And it's interesting because when we have a large African American population here in Western New York, and Alex and I were talking just before we came in the studio this morning of the susceptibility to stroke. They, they may be at a disadvantage, our African community, uh, African American community, to a stroke simply because high blood pressure is one of those things that uh, is, is very much a part of stroke. And wouldn't you agree, Alex, that the frequency of strokes has gone up in the last couple of months? Right. The ASA, the American Stroke Association, recently reported that hospitalization of young adults from the ages of 25 to 44 increased about 43 percent. Mm. So that's a pretty big increase that we don't usually see in statistics. So it might be that we're looking for strokes more. It might mm -hmm. be that people are paying attention to those risk factors, having those conversations with the doctors. But overall, young people are having strokes, so it's extremely important to pay attention to that. There seems to, to be a, a, a little bit of confusion between a stroke and a heart attack. It is, is the heart involved in a stroke or are they two very, very different activities, two different events? Well, the heart and head are always connected. So uh, we want to make sure that we're paying attention to signs and symptoms that could be a heart attack or a stroke. Okay. Um, be fast are the signs and symptoms you want to look for for stroke specifically. So sudden change in balance, sudden change in vision, sudden change in weakness in one side of the body, speech changes, difficulty talking, um, and then time, basically calling 911 as soon as you notice those. Um, the heart and head are connected. A heart healthy diet is a head healthy diet, mm -hmm. and all those symptoms in between. High blood pressure can sometimes look like a heart attack if you're having a high blood pressure crisis. Sometimes it can be a stroke. So all those symptoms are kind of intertwined. All of those, any sudden onset of anything is always an emergency, no yeah. matter what it is. And one of the most important on that list is time. Don't waste time. If you think you know you're having this tell somebody right away call 911 and let them determine absolutely right? to I save mean, your life. time is everything mm -hmm. uh, speed and that's why we call it be fast mm -hmm. and I think Alex would agree the, the beauty of Western New York is we have one of the finest stroke centers not only in our region mm -hmm. but very possibly in our country uh, led by Lee Gunnerman and the team out at Mercy in South Buffalo what what makes our Catholic health system better in terms of stroke than any other place. Technology is there, but it's more than that. It's our team. Our team cares about our patients. Um, we're very dedicated to our community, and we know, especially when we're teaching risk factors and education for that, African Americans, which uh, the black community has a higher prevalence of high blood pressure and diabetes, and we have events that we make sure that we're going out and we're talking to people. We have follow-ups. We have a lot of different clinic and the Mercy Comprehensive Center available for education opportunities and things like that. But when we talk about high blood pressure, one in three African Americans has high blood pressure. So we have to really make sure that people aren't disregarding the fact that if it's not working right away, it's just because the doctor needs time to work with you to make sure they're finding the right combination of medications and things like that. So a lot of communication, paying attention to if something isn't working for you, communicating with your doctor, and, and we have those areas. Folks, I wanted, uh, Alex had mentioned opportunities before we run out of time. I noticed on our hiring 716 initiative, uh, Catholic Health is looking for over 200 nurses. This yes. is a wonderful time to look at that website and find out if they have a position for you and especially home care so that we can make sure that we're bringing all of those education pieces and everything follow up home wise when people are discharged with a stroke, they go home and they need that and they need that nursing care. So nurses for home care, please, thank you. A quick question, Linda, do we have more men or women women watching the show this morning? I would, would you think, think women. More women. Stroke in women, Higher a very incidence. surprising yeah. statistic. Higher incidence of stroke for women overall. Why? 
Generally speaking, it's because of the longevity of women. So as your age increases, your risk factor for stroke increases, and women have a tendency to live a little bit longer. And also women actually have a higher incidence of high blood pressure. I'll tell you, yeah. Linda, the, the beauty of, of working with Catholic Health, people like Alex and then the great doctors mm -hmm. and nurses we have. So a very happy Nurses Week to all of our male and female nurses. And if you want some more information about what we're chatting about this morning, you want to look at that uh, Be Fast mm -hmm. chart once again. Yep. Uh, all we want you to do is uh, get on your computer and our address is chbuffalo, Catholic Health System, buffalo.org. Make sure you give us a, a check and we will have great information there. And if you have personal questions that you would like to ask, there it is right there. That's our, uh, that's our place to make contact. That's right, folks. Don't be a stranger, chsbuffalo.org.